What's going on guys? We got a special video for you guys today and we're going to be talking about what we picked up at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. What's up guys? What's up guys? How's it going? So it's been a long time since we've done a pickup video. It's been a while. Since our last channel pretty much. Mm -hmm. But we went to Portland and we had a blast at the show. Got a lot of good deals. A lot of good deals. I think that's an understatement. We did really good. I mean, amazing. we did really good. Before we even got there, we had already started on deals. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and do though is we're going to show you the last thing we got. And this is going to probably be a part of a tip video. Mm -hmm. And what did we do? All right. So we, at the end of the show, after, you know, all the deals have been made, we, we had some extra cash. We went around to booths or we go around the booths and we ask and we look at the extra manuals that they have that are left over. You know, some of them are priced higher. Some of them, they're just like, we wanna get rid of them. They're a dollar a piece. And, dollar a piece. and we pick them up. Um, we're not necessarily going for a complete box N64 set, but we're getting all the manuals and then hopefully just picking up boxes along the way, just to try, try to complete some games as, you know, as... as and you wonder how often would that happen? We're gonna yeah. show you right yeah. away yeah. how often it can happen that you'll find boxes in a really good deal. Yeah. So what I did here was I separated out a few manuals mm -hmm. just to show you guys the kind of quality manuals. Mario Golf, that's okay. GoldenEye 007, even better. Mm -hmm. Then you got things like Banjo-Kazooie. Better. Mario Party, awesome. Paper Mario, great. And a good example is, we'll jump into that real quick, yeah. and then we'll talk about it so, a little more. Uh, so I made this deal uh, prior to the show, you know, a guy on the, on the Facebook page posted that he found these games at the bins. Uh, I guess there's a Goodwill there, or like a thrift store that they just Throw stuff in bins, and then uh, you could pick out the pick out what you want, and then they weigh it, and then you pay for for the weight or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, and I guess they don't find stuff often, but he found these, and he didn't really want them. He's a vendor there at the show. He was selling posters and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I think his name was Nathan. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks, Nathan. So I commented and I PM'd him, and he was like, "I'll take like around." Well, I averaged it out, and it was around like six dollars or less under a box. Six. It was under six bucks. And what we got was Pokemon Snap, just the box. These are all just the box, just so you guys know. Uh, Mario Kart 64. Well, these have the game and stuff in them, but we got them just the box, just so you guys know. Super Smash Bros. That was freaking awesome. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, a player's choice. We got Bomberman 64. Sorry about that. Then we got... I pretended like I didn't want these at first. <laughs> I was like, these, <laughs> I was like, these are uh, some... You know, he has the controller box. This is the green controller box. And I was like, we're not really collecting the boxes for the controllers. I don't know if I want them. I wanted them really badly. <laughs> I think you wanted them more than the games for <laughs> then sure. Then we got the black controller box. And uh, these, I mean, look at it. They're in really good condition. And, uh, you know, for boxes only, that's that's a really good deal still. You uh, know what I mean? Under $6 for the box only. And with the dollar manual. And then also, a lot of these games, we picked them up way back in the day for a dollar a piece at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. So a dollar for the game, dollar for the manual. You know, it's it's... Pretty much a complete box. It's a pretty. It's pretty much a complete box game for eight dollars. You know, as far as complete goes, you know, it's just yeah. the game, the manual, and the box. And to me, that's complete. I know there's inserts and stuff that we're probably missing, but I'm a hundred percent sure that the Smash Bros. I got for ninety nine cents, mm -hmm. and then Mario Kart I got on a Monday, which is when it, everything's fifteen percent off, so eighty five cents. Yeah, or really. something. So under ten dollars for it's a complete amazing. box. Smash Bros. Mario Kart, unheard of. Great deals. So, I'm gonna do two really quick things here. The first one is a, a game that we got from the Nintendo Doctor called Rockman World, which we're going for a complete Mega Man set. Um, that's gonna happen next year, hopefully. We're pretty close as well. We're not that mm -hmm. far off. We're, we are missing some of the heaviest of heavy hitters. But anyways, eventually we're gonna get into the Japan uh, Rockman stuff, and so mm -hmm. we're already kind of on our way with yeah. some of the other Famicom stuff. And then, it's not a Portland uh, Retro Gaming Expo trip if you don't get the awesome souvenir, I call it. Yeah, you know? they're really nice. It's a, the official program, but they do a really good job with these. Mm -hmm. And also the Old School Gamer Magazine. This is a subscription magazine. I don't have all of the info for it, uh, but if you go to oldschoolgamermagazine.com, we can find out more about it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we also got this game from the Nintendo Doctor. Uh, I guess he was at a store and he thought they had it, and he remembered. He, he thought about us. He remembered he that. Did, yeah. He remembered that we still needed it, and that game's coming to us in the 64. So, awesome of him. 
so much can be said about the the people you meet and the people you meet through YouTube or whatever. But we've met some great people in Portland. I mean, almost everybody that we've met, uh, no matter what the the deal, transaction, whatever it was. Uh, obviously, the Nintendo Doctor is one of our really close friends now, just like Russ Lyman. Mm -hmm. But uh, man, some great people out of Portland. Mm -hmm. So. We also grabbed these two. These were on our list before we went over there, specifically on our on our spreadsheet. Scramble from Con Games and the 4-in-1 Retro Game Pack from Con Games. I'm trying to collect all of his, uh, all the games that he has released and we're well on our way. All right, so the day before the show, the day we got there, I believe, uh, uh, Robert took us to a few stores and one of those stores was Best Buy. And I, the, the, this game had just released Fire Emblem on the 3DS. He had pre-ordered it, so he went to go pre pick up his pre-orders. And they had these, uh, Tiki Amiibo and Chrome Amiibo for Fire Emblem. We're, we, we collect Amiibo, pretty much all, all of them, so we were missing these, so. Yeah. Now, we're, now we're that much closer to having a full set again. Yep. All right, and then I'm gonna talk about yep. this deal here. We got this one from Casey the Game Nerd, and he's a really cool guy. His awesome YouTube, guy. Channel, YouTube channel has the same name, Casey the Game Nerd, uh, but it's Bomberman 64 Second Attack. We traded Wario 2 for the original Game Boy Complete in box. That one had everything. And uh, Batman Return of the Joker, which was the box and cartridge alone. Mm -hmm. And so we got this game for $60 plus that trade. Amazing. So amazing. We're, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about how much money we spent on these games because we, wanna, we want you guys to, to kind of understand the kind of deals that we were getting. The mm -hmm. reason we were able to do all of this was because of the very first deal, mm -hmm. which he's going to talk at the end. So... Yep. So whenever you hear all these high prices, it, it was actually only, we were only able to do it because of some other yep. reason. Yep. All right, so this game I'm gonna talk about, we got it from somebody that we had seen before, but we hadn't really met, uh, Josh Camp. He was a really nice, really awesome guy. Gave us a really great deal on this uh, harder to find, uh, more expensive N64 game that we were missing, and that game is super bowling. Uh, like we said, we, we uh, for this one, we're just gonna mention about uh, like average or a little bit on how, how much we saved or whatever. We, we saved like 25% of what people pay on eBay. The sold or, listings on yeah, eBay. Yeah, yeah, so. So if you're wondering how much we paid on this specific one, because mm -hmm. we don't want to say the price as this was a private deal. Yeah, yeah. Um, just look for the sold listings and then take off 25%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's that's for how much we got it. Little note, that's the only game that has jumped up a lot in price. Yes, on the N64. On the N64. Yeah, oh, also in really, really great condition. It is in fantastic condition. All right, next, uh, Matt from Forever Games. If he would have had all the games we needed, we would have wouldn't even be talking about all this. Mm -hmm. We would have done all the deals with him. Cause yeah. man, stand up guy. If you guys need awesome anything guy. next year, if you if you see him or I don't know if he's got a store. If that's a store or not, but yeah. man, he is awesome. He had, he had a copy of Stadium Events and a bunch of other really and, um, crazy. What's the other expensive? Yeah, I think probably I don't Lil know, Samson. Lil Samson, and it was. You'll see it in the port in the PRG video. Yeah, actually, it was if you crazy. See it. It, was, it was awesome. We didn't pay any cash at his booth. Mm -hmm. It was all trade. Uh, we traded some Xbox games. Mm -hmm. We traded um, some Resident Evil games on the GameCube. All uh, the leftover, kind of some of the leftover stuff that we had. Yeah. Um, we got Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, which is the main one that we wanted from that booth, mm -hmm. and Earthworm Jim 3, which had kind of. Uh, we'd been chasing it for a long time and hadn't been able to find it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really happy to get those. Not sure on the price, like 30 he had this one. This one for like 60, 60. Yeah, 65. Yeah. No, that was definitely 60 and 30. But we didn't yeah. pay any cash because Trade. trades. Mm -hmm. Tip, another tip video. Manuals, trades, man, it's gonna be good. All right, so these three games we actually picked up at a booth, there are a couple guys from Chicago. Uh, they were towards the back by the bathrooms and then on the second day, on Sunday, they moved <laughs> over. Um, these games we were just missing, they happen to have them. Uh, Rampage World Tour. I think these were the only games that we paid just full price. We did. We paid cash. We yeah. Just, they didn't want our Game Boys. <laughs> we had some extra Game Boys for trading. Oh, they're like, yeah. those aren't gonna want. move, bro. Okay. Rampage World Tour. They're not. They're not heavy hitters or anything. No. By Daikatana and San Francisco Rust 2049. Just a few games that we just never found. Never. For picked some up. reason, yeah. we just hadn't gotten them. Yeah. We didn't get them last year or whatever. Uh, this last deal that I'm gonna talk about is uh, somebody had their their complete set for sale their mm -hmm. n64 set we we're talking mm -hmm. to chris our buddy from sushi robo go and he says hey this booth back here has worms armageddon that's what we were yeah kind we of didn't get worms it. that's not what's here that's what we were kind of leaning towards, towards. because mm -hmm. we weren't sure about the deal that he's going to talk about we weren't sure how that was going to pan out yeah. so we didn't know where our money was going to be able to go um we go to the booth 
there's three guys there. We talked to a couple of them, and they're like, we don't have a worms here. And we're like, oh, all right. Well, yeah. damn it, Chris, you just lied to us. We start walking away. They're like, whoa, 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 he does. He's got a worms yeah. over here. So the guy who had the complete set opens up his little cabinet in the back, and he's got all the heavy hitters back mm -hmm. there. And uh, so we start seeing what he has. We actually walked away, mm -hmm. and then he went and worked out the deal. Yeah. And once he worked out that deal, the whole show changed for us. Yep. Everything as far as what we were going to be able to spend, mm -hmm. what we are going to be able to do kind of changed for us. So once we found out that that deal was happening, I was like, dude, let's go yeah. back over there and throw mm -hmm. your money at that guy. Yeah. Because he had the cash. So I was yeah. like, let's go over there and yeah. spend your money. So yeah. we got Mario Party 3, and this is not for resale version. Yep. Which is, we... It's harder to find, obviously. Yeah. We got a really good deal on it. Um, show off the other game. First. And it's kind of cool to have the, yeah, the we, resale version. Yeah, we, we were looking for that one. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. And then Stunt Racer. Yep. And uh, for those games, what did, how, how much did we save on those? I think he gave us... We paid about... I did the math right then and there. Yeah. It was like 30%. Yeah. We, under under um, a charting and, yeah. and, and sold listings. So 25 yeah. to 30%. Yeah. Man, really it was awesome incredible. Deal. I can't remember the exact... That one we paid about 70, I think. About 70 or yeah. 65. I remember you haggling like yeah, five bucks yeah. off on each one, and yeah. this one was 60 or 55. Yeah, 55 or 60, which is really cheap for what they go for on eBay and price. The charting. regular and, and the, Mario Party 3 yeah. costs like 55 yeah, bucks. Yeah, and I, the guy was just trying to get rid of his collection, honestly, and it was obvious because he was giving it was a really, really nice, good deal. easy to work with. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, it was only a few hours into the show. Yeah, it honestly, was, it just started basically, and we couldn't believe our luck. We couldn't mm -hmm. believe what was happening. It was good. Mm -hmm. yeah, everything that was happening was good. Yeah. And all right, so the the last thing we're gonna show you is actually the first deal that we made. The basic the, kind of went backwards. <laughs> yeah, the base of our budget. The the reason why we were able to get everything that we got and why everything worked out so it was so smoothly. It was so weird how perfect everything yeah. just worked out for us. So, Even Cindy was like, "Wow, what yeah, is what the she heck? was getting excited yeah, for us." Yeah, yeah, and um, so we were we were looking for this game. Uh, this game was on our list. It's probably the top of our list. If we walked there, if we walked out. With one game, this is probably the game we wanted. Yep. You know what I mean? This For is sure. what, this is what we wanted. So we're going around to a bunch of booths, looking at, at all their games, finding the booths that had it, the prices, if they took trade, you know everything. And uh, th this booth, they had this game for a really good price, and they took trade. So uh, so we walked away, and he was like, you know, what, just go back, show them the games that we have, and, and ask them. I what. did. I sent them back because yeah. he's young. I was like. I'll send him back over be there. Nicer to him. He knows yeah. what he's doing. He knows what yeah. he's talking about too. So you know, yeah. let's see if he can work out a deal. Yeah. So I pulled out the games. I showed him everything we had. He was like, "Wow, well, I, I want the Game Boys." It was like crap. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he gave me back a bunch of stuff, and he looked at. He had like four or five games in his hand. He was looking at them. He was looking at the discs, at the manuals, and I was like, "Oh, he's probably thinking, man, these are so. Well, I'm only gonna give him five bucks for these." You know, I was, I was like, "Man, thinking the worst." I was so nervous. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then he, and then he was like, "All right." Uh, 200 bucks? I was like, oh, 200 trade? He showed me the games, I was 200 trade for these? I was like, what? I was like, you're lying. I was like, there's no way. There's no way you're offering me 200 for for five Zelda games that we've never even played. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it, it was it was the Master Quest Collector's Edition. It was Twilight Princess. It was all the, the Zelda games on the GameCube, on the GameCube. That, that we just happened to take. We're like, you know what? We don't we don't need these. Uh, we we want other stuff. Let's we take only them to paid trade. Two bucks at Goodwill yeah. for them. They're worth a lot of money. We don't yeah. need them. It's yeah. trade. So 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 me, uh, you know, the smart guy that I am, I was like, no, uh, I gotta talk to my brother first before <laughs> I make this deal. And he kind of just looked at me, like, bro. I just offered you two hundred for You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I went back to him, and he said this. He did the same. Yeah. He's like, what? Go back and get the game. If you yeah. go watch, if you go watch the PRG video yeah. that we just put out, yeah, he to... walks up to me and he smiles, and yeah. then like at that point. I'm about to say like go back and yeah. get it, dude. Yeah. And that's where I cut it off and then yeah. I put deals. And, and, <laughs> and I vividly remember because I called them and I was like, I got some good news. So yeah. I knew that it was a, it was gonna be a good deal. I just I wanted, you know, we were making yeah. decisions together. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. the budget was like our budget. Yeah. Yep. So so you know, I went back and I was like, here are the games. I'll take the 200 credit, and I and I gave him my card for the cash and. The game was Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut and then 64. We got uh, it. It's the heavy of heavies. It's it's not perfect, but it's pretty dang close it's to it. Cool. It's really good condition. I'm they, happy with it. They were uh, pff, they were only asking 280 for it. 380. 380. Oh yeah, sorry. 380. They're only asking 380, <laughs> which honestly, like this game, I don't know why it goes for more than 400 mostly all the time. Like regardless of the condition, unless it's super, the label's basically all gone. Then they're asking for like 
370 you know what I mean so for yeah. starters it was a good price yeah yeah, already. yeah that's what, yeah, that's what yeah. I was getting like 380 for this and then 200 off like 180 cash for this game you know what I mean like and oh he God. had budgeted 450 500 for it just yeah. in case that's all we we're gonna be able to walk yeah, away yeah in, ca in case we had, we we're gonna have to pay cash for the whole thing yeah. I was like, you know what like so he budgets that much and then only ends up paying 180 dollars yeah and what ended up happening with your money when you came back I freaking I I had more I had more than I, I thought he brought some yeah, back yeah I, I had more money than I than I thought I'd come back with and then we scored some more stuff over here back at the, back in yeah we scored, yeah it was crazy it was a crazy week it was awesome it was the best PRG trip yeah. so far and every trip has been awesome and then all the trade all the other stuff that we got deals on just made. Oh, <laughs> you know what? It yeah. just saved so much money. I came back with more money than I thought I would. It was, yeah, it, it was amazing. So there's gonna awesome. be a tips video. I know there's tips videos from vendors and other YouTubers who mainly go and then grab like one game or two mm -hmm. or whatever. But whenever you travel from where, where we traveled and we the airfare that we pay, yeah, uh, we want some the, deals. The way that the way that you gotta budget your money. Uh, um, the mentality that you gotta go with, yeah. as far as being fair, being nice, being mm -hmm. courteous, Realistic. you know, if you, yeah, yeah, if you're gonna offer 17 bucks for a game, have 17 dollars and change, you yeah. know, things like that. I mean, you you really we've learned over the last three years, and every year has gotten better, mm -hmm. and hopefully next year is even better. Yep. Um, but what a great amount of stuff we had on a, a really I would call it a limited budget, even though it was a lot of money because oh, yeah. it was only really one person mm -hmm. budget, but mm -hmm. with the trade stuff that we had yeah. picked up in the past yeah and and we didn't we didn't really spend that much money on any other game the whole year the whole past year like i've been saving Since up PRGE. Just, yeah I, i've been saving up just for this so if you think about it you watch other pickup videos you know people spend a lot of money throughout the year yeah. on other random things i hadn't even bought a game for the playstation 4. yeah yeah so. i mean since prge we hadn't spent a dime on video games so in the big picture budgeted money for this trip we did really well i think yeah oh, oh yeah we so i i didn't spend nearly as much as i thought i would we saved a lot of money we got a lot of good deals uh i we, I, got all we, the we, we can we, we can buy more games now like yeah. i i thought i was gonna come back like i'm not gonna be able to buy another game till next prg i know we're not gonna yeah. be able to eat next month yeah <laughs> but now we came back and now we're hunting again and everything yeah. and it's awesome so. so it was a really great year uh thanks to all the people all the nice people that we met over there that we made deals with and of course the people we stayed with you guys are freaking awesome Amazing. uh the doc and his wife and then mm -hmm. russ awesome to hang out but uh blitz. yeah blitz <laughs> anyways we're so happy with everything that we got and the deals that we got and all the people willing to work uh, for trade. So keep a lookout for that tips video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button to all your friends. Thanks for watching guys. Find anything better? He'll give us 200 trade, basically just for the Zeldas. Ah, oh, yeah, baby, deals. Watch your arm, watch your arm.